Uh, good day. Uh, today is 3.30 p.m., uh, 22 2nd January, Monday. Uh, and this is a disclosure here. Today, I don't want to cover uh, any of the auto trade, but uh, as I promised uh, last week uh, in the video, I will uh, go and explain what we have on the third system. Uh, as you know, uh, now everybody knows we have this a new system called swing trading and you get it out of the box, turn it on and off, does not require any uh, optimization. And uh, the end of the story here on that swing trading, if this market moving, we are nailing it. If this market is not moving, welcome to trading. There is nothing we can do from our side. But on that swing trading, we will never miss a trade. We will never miss a trade if this market moving. And if it's not the market moving, it's time to stop and do something else with your life when the market is very slow, like Monday, early or late Mondays. You figure out when is the best time uh, to trade and when to stay out of a trade. So this one here, the swing trading comes in uh, with a Ninja Trader 7 and a Ninja Trader 8 as the same license and a new customer will get both if you want to trade the scalper on NT7 or you want to uh, trade the uh, <clears throat> the swing trading on NT8 you can do but you get the swing trading on the Ninja Trader 7 and Ninja Trader 8 and actually they are the the same entry practically plus minus one tick now on this one here, uh, it is the scalper, which I said in the video last uh, week. Uh, I still like to use the seven uh, on the scalper because it's going in and out of the market. Uh, the NT8 is still a young platform. So this one here require a little bit more relaxed. Um, um, uh, so uh, I prefer uh, for now using Ninja Trader 7 on the scalper but you can get both of them the nt8 and the nt7 uh, scalper and they come with both uh, version ninja trader 7 and ninja trader 8 and uh, then you can decide if you want to use nt7 or nt8 but you will get on the same license the ninja trader 7 and the ninja trader 8 and this is the one I promised uh, to cover last week is the this one here is a base on a price action and it is automated by signal trading and actually this is my favorite uh, instruments and this is my favorite uh, uh, chart because this one here you can automate it and you can manual trade it and you can use an ATM and you can use a fully automated trade. Also this one here does, but this one here, that system, the third system, the price action swing trading, it comes in only on Ninja Trader 8, it does not come on Ninja Trader 7 because this one here require a lot of uh, calculation and it probably will crash Ninja Trader 7 because it is it looks simple but it is a lot of calculation with a lot of high time frame involved but it looks simple and this is uh, the art of it to make it look simple and accurate then what it does on this uh, system here comes in uh, the market analyzer where it gives you the this is the latest update we have not released what we have put a safe entry or a re-entry you can call it entry price trading stop trading stop because the trading stops are based on a fib and then what we do we give you the target and all of it automatic and once the target hit it tells you when the target hit now for those guys the ones they have a real size of money not the three thousand four thousand uh one of the the things and um, if you can hatch the the future market at any given time at any given time or if you are hatching the market you will find you have around 100 take on the last signal now what we are looking at is not the whole day 
is the last signal. And I will show you as an example, if we look on the CL as an example, we have an entry at 63.38. If we look at the buy entry 63.38, this one here, you can automate it. It comes with a three different automated trading. An ATM where you set up your own target and stop loss. And there is another one called ATM strategy where is automatic fire that signal and then put it on the target and then use the the fibs, the trailing stop, because those trailing stops are not dummy trailing stop. Those are fibs support resistant. And then the your your needle with the, the chart trader will move with it. And I will demonstrate that next week uh, this week. I'm sorry. And then on the pullback re-entry. You have a safe entry to on a pullback re-entry, gives giving you the support line and tell you where you can enter the market. As an example here, if we notice we had the signal fired at 63.38 right there. And then I hit the target. Then there is a little pullback. And you can see on every chart that the market came into the support line because the trend stop are your support line. And it tells you where is your uh, target. And it is very simple on the same time, especially for those guys like to trade themselves sometimes. On the left upper corner, we have a state of art measuring the buyers and the sellers the institutionals and the retailers. At the same time, two different market analyzer and all those enchiladas, the volatility, the MACDs, the ATRs, they're all in one pot. And they do the calculation and they give you additional signal. And this is separate from that signal here. So we did not give the signal itself and where is your target? And where is your trailing stop is based on the floor and fibs. But also we give you an additional uh, signal where it tells you how strong the momentum because part of the equation is you have three, four different part of equation, your fibs, your momentum, and that here you can see the pressure in the market is exactly like when you see the pressure on your tire. We like to see how this market and how is the pressure it is in the market and then we can identify when there is a false movement 90 percent of the traders they those the ones they lose money because they are trading indicator and they don't understand the difference between a false movement and a real movement and that is 90 percent of the traders fail to identify false movement. And this is, uh, folks, where most of the traders get lost, right there. Because should I go long here? No way. No way. No way I will go long here anymore. It's finished. My entry was at 27.75 and now and this is a one minute chart again i'm a minute and this is 3225 and from above that area now is going to be very risky to take long above that area is going to be very very risky to take any more trade once anything above the target is no longer uh, tradable long and now we should look for reversal so what we have done between the target, what we have done between the target and this yellow line, this is where no longer, no longer, we are allowed to take long because that market here, I have no idea if it's going to be in five ticks or 10 ticks, but this is between those two lines be become a very critical area to go long. Your chances about going long and make money on that is one out of 50. 
is one out of 50 you will make money in this area anymore for long. But however, if we reverse that market here, that it will be very good potential to take those trades. So how to activate this auto trade is a very simple. You have them right there. This is your ATM strategy. You put your ATM here and you turn it on and that's all what you have to do to it. On the second one is called the entry signal ATM strategy and then you have an option for how many you need, how many contracts. If you want it on a trailing stop one or a trailing stop two, if you want to take two orders and then on each take and then you activate it. Or if you wanted the fully automated trading, then all what you have to do is say how many contracts, what kind of trailing stop you want. You want trailing stop one or trailing stop two. That's all what you have to do. Enter it and then you enable the auto trade and that's all what you need to do to the auto trade. Look at this folks. After we hit the target, we have the fib line, we have a reversal, we have a critical area between those two li yellow line, and that mean is reversal. I'm not trying to teach uh, how to trade on a YouTube, but what I'm trying to show you folks, look at this. What I'm trying to show you that for those guys that just rely on an auto trade, we got it. But also between the lines, on a Mondays or also even it's nice to activate your auto trade with that chart so you can learn how the market moves because you cannot be blind all your life and just relying on an auto trade. An auto trade is a good thing but also it is also nice uh, to to have a contact with the market the one you want to make a living from and you need to to understand what's going on. Folks, that's all what we have for today. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Bye for now.